Hey everybody, this is Ab Castle at Diamond Canyon Christian Church, and I just wanted to bring you some thoughts today. Isaiah 52, 7 says, How beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news, who proclaim peace, who bring good tidings, good welcomings, and proclaim salvation, and who say, Our God reigns. Is that you? Are you being positive and joyful out there? Or are you a Debbie Downer? Too many Debbie Downers out there. We need some... Christians to rise up and just bring the joy and bring the hope that this world needs. Throughout history, the church always thrived under rough conditions. Look at the book of Acts, and you'll see that the church was being persecuted, but their numbers multiplied. Why was that? Because they were thinking different. They were shining love when everybody else was negative. And people crave that. People want that. People desire that. And we have that. So are you giving that away? But if you hide it and you don't give it away, you're be, you become negative like everybody else. So why would ever, anybody ever want to be a Christian if we're just the same as the world? We have to show the world we're different. We have to thrive in times like these. This is the time to shine. Are you shining out there, Christians? All throughout history, Christians have met needs. Think about medical needs throughout history. Look at most hospitals. They have the names like Presbyterian Hospital, St. Jude, Mount Sinai, and so on and so on and on and on because uh, people of faith rose up and met needs throughout history. And that's what we were to do now. There's a need out there and we got to rise up and meet that need. Orphanages are always championed by Christians in the past and today. Education started off a lot of Bible uh, uh, colleges started off like Princeton was a Bible college, Harvard was a Bible college, Yale was a Bible college. And uh, so uh, meeting educational needs has always been a priority of Christians. Slavery was ended in England and the USA because Christians rose up, preachers rose up, churches rose up and said, no more, no more. Today, human trafficking is being slowed down because Christians are stepping in and taking a stand. Soup kitchens, and homeless shelters have always been championed by Christians and by churches. Today, missionaries bring uh, water and electricity to villages. Uh, they bring electricity so kids can study longer and, and learn and get a better education so they can become uh, better um, uh, in throughout the world and be stronger and thrive and not be stuck in a rut. So this is my point. We got to meet needs. There's needs out there. See those needs. Meet those needs. That was Jesus's formula for ministry. He saw a need. He met the need. If they were hungry, he fed them. If they had a, a, a disease, he loved them. And that's what we have to do. It's our time to shine, church. There are so many needs out there right now. Right now, it would be so huge if you just bring good joy. Just bring good news and peace to people. Bring some hope. How are your feet? Are you bringing that good news? You can do that today. Spare some extra food. You know, peel off some toilet paper for somebody. Um, we didn't get into the big uh, shopping rush like a lot of people did. And so somebody found out about that and they brought us a bag of toilet paper. We didn't super need it, but it was so joyful because it planted a seed in me to want to go out and, and help and find other people who had needs and meet those needs. So anyway, that's you. This crazy world needs you. This crazy world needs Christians to rise up with joy and hope and good news. And uh, you can do that. So my devotion is super sweet. Um, unlike the previous people before me, I didn't ramble on and on, as you can tell. So anyway, I'm just joking. Get out there and shine and get on that phone and check on some uh, people you haven't talked to in a while. Yell across the street to that grumpy neighbor and see if they need anything. And chances are they're not going to need anything. But if they do, between your family and the church family, we can meet those needs. We can shine. And uh, we want you to do that. So think different. Don't be a Debbie Downer. You. Don't uh, uh, just sit back. All right. How are your feet? Good news. Bring the good news. Meet those needs. All right. God bless you out there.